Hello everyone, it's Carolina. I'm a first year pre-biomedical engineering student at UBC and today I'm going to be going over term two or part two of everything you need to know about first year engineering courses. Part one is linked in the description down below and like last time I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about the course including a module description and breakdown on the screen as well as the IB, AP, and British pattern transfer credits you can get for each course. At the end of the video I'll be going over some general tips and some resources that are super important for succeeding in second term. To start off, Math 101 is essentially a continuation of Math 100 from last semester, but instead of differential calculus, it's integral calculus this time. If you do the web works, which is the homework, and you understand the concepts well, you should be pretty set for the midterms and finals. You then just have to do a lot of practice. Math 152 is linear algebra. For this course, if you don't understand, it's really helpful to look at the examples as they explain the concepts fairly well. This course actually goes hand in hand with Phys 170 and it's a lot of the same concepts. So it's really helpful if you're taking them in the same semester, but if you didn't like I didn't, that's okay too. MATLAB is a big part of this course as well and it might seem intimidating at first because it is a little bit of coding but it's actually fairly simple and it's a very useful skill for the future. Phys 158 is Intro to Physics for Engineers Part 2, so it's a continuation of Phys 157, but this time with circuits, electrical fields, and magnetism. This course I found to be quite a bit more difficult than the last one, and a lot of my peers found the same thing, but there are quite a few good resources that are out there that you can use, and those will really allow you to grasp the concepts when you don't understand, especially if you have the time to go and look at YouTube videos, read the textbook, do practice problems, and they even have homework help sessions that are really, really helpful for this course. AppSci 101 is part two of Intro to Engineering, essentially a continuation and similar in difficulty to AppSci 100 from last term. You get to do a lot of cool group-based projects, including the automated claw that we have a video describing in detail. And overall for this course, it's really important to focus on not slacking off and really focusing on teamwork. Phys 159 is the one credit physics lab course you have to take in first year, and so I didn't have to take it since I'm in the biomedical timetable, but I've heard that overall it's not too difficult. It was different this year with it being online, but if you are really lost, just ask your TAs for help and there'll be plenty of help. Now moving on to the BMEG courses. So if you're in the pre-biomedical timetable, you'll be taking a couple courses that are different. So you don't take APSI 101 or Phys 159. Instead, you take BMEG 101, BMEG 102, and Chem 123, which this year was called Chem 130. BMEG 101 is the Intro to Biomedical Engineering course, so it's divided into four modules, one for each stream that you can take later on. It's a really good and not too in-depth look at each stream, so it gives you a good sense of which streams you like, which ones you don't, and just overall if you're interested in the field or not. And then you get to do a lot of cool group projects, and we have really interesting guest lectures that come in that give you a taste of the actual field and what it's like to be a biomedical engineer. BMEG 102 is the equivalent of Phys 159, but for BMEG students. And so it's a cool look at each stream, but with an actual lab application, as each lab you do will be for each different stream. Chem 123, otherwise referred to as Chem 130 this year, is split into two halves. So it's physical chemistry and organic chemistry. I personally had a different prof for each, but it'll vary depending on your section. And as a whole, I found it to be quite a bit more difficult than chem first semester, as it was a lot less review from high school, but there was still quite a bit of overlap with Phys 157 from first term. So that was really useful as well. It is an interesting course, and it's really just depending on whether you like the Phys chem aspect versus the organic chem aspect. First year engineering is hard, but there are so many great resources that will make it a lot easier and cut down your time on studying. I really recommend watching YouTube or Khan Academy videos if you don't understand, going to prof and TA office hours, 
AMS Tutoring has free tutoring both online and in person. You can organize your own study sessions and there are a lot of good resources specific to each course like the Physics Homework Help Session, the Math Learning Center, and the Chem Study Block. Thanks so much for watching! Leave any questions you have down below and good luck in first year end!